Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today I'm going to be doing a full hair, makeup, and outfit Valentine's Day. Get ready with me. It's not actually Valentine's Day today, and honestly, I have nowhere to go. <laughs> but I just thought it'd be fun to maybe give you guys some inspiration if you were looking for, I don't know, just Valentine's Day inspo if you have a little date night or you're doing something with your friends or if you just want to dress up on valentine's day or in february because you feel like it i 100 percent support that i've been wearing like pink eyeshadow every day of february so far so yeah i'm just going to do a little get ready with me so grab a coffee a tea a snack and without further ado we are going to get right into the get ready with me so the first step is makeup and i made a little pinterest board to find inspo and i came across this photo right here i will insert it on the screen but i just really love the way that this looks it's a single color matte eyeshadow all on the lids and then her skin super glowy and it just has kind of a different shade they're both like pastel shades um, but a different lip color i just really love this whole look and i mentioned in my last video how it seems like i can't do an eye look recently without adding sparkle or shimmer or something so i think it'll be fun to try something different and just do an all matte single eyeshadow on my eyelid i feel like that'll be really fun to try and just something different for me so what we're doing for the makeup is shopping my stash so with that inspo pick in mind i'm going to pick some makeup for this valentine's day makeup look all right you guys you can kind of see me in the mirror but this is my everyday desk setup it honestly looks kind of messy right now but this is just real life it's how it is we have a clean fresh sponge ready to go for the base i think i'm gonna do something from my makeup drawer here i think i might do this merit beauty stick and then for concealer i'm gonna do my glossier stretch concealer for my february makeup rotation then blush i want to do this tower 28 blush in happy hour this is from my project pan so it'll be good to get some use out of that and then i kind of want to layer this on top because it's from a Valentine's Day collection from ColourPop, so super fitting, but also it's just really pretty and I think it'll layer nicely over this blush because they're both like, they're both hot pink, so. Then I'll also do my highlight from my project pan. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight in Blossom Glow. It's also a very like pinky highlight, so I think it'll go very nicely with this look. And then brows kind of boring. We'll just do my brow definer and this Merit Beauty brow gel in brown. Okay, so this is a purple palette that I'm showing you. It is the ColourPop Lilac You A Lot palette. And this is definitely like more of a purpley pink, but how cool would it be to have this shade all over the eyelids? Or maybe this middle shade from the ColourPop Blush Crush palette. I think that could be really pretty. I think the one in the Blush Crush palette would go with the blush more. Yeah, I think the Lilac You A Lot palette is just a little bit too purple. So we'll go with that matte pink in the Blush Crush palette. And then for bronzer, I'm just going to do my Fenty Beauty bronzer. And then lips. So this is going to be the fun part. Oh, and mascara. We'll do, um, we'll do the Snobla mascara, I guess. So for lips, I kind of want to do something red and I don't really know how that's going to go with the look, but I have some lip options here and we will just revisit these later into the video when I'm finished with my makeup. But I think this is all the makeup I need for the get ready with me. So now let's go ahead and do my makeup and try to recreate that Pinterest look. Okay, so I'm starting with this Merit Beauty foundation stick in the shade Bone. I really love this base it's just fun also to put on and then i'm blending it out with my sponge so that created a nice light layer on my skin you can still see like my skin underneath clearly but um i just made it a little bit more even and i want this look to be very eye and lip product focused i guess so the skin i'm kind of leaving more simple I say that even though I got a hot pink blush, but all right now I'm using my Glossier Stretch Concealer just on any little areas that I feel like I need it. Now let's do some bronzer. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in In The Sun and this Angled BH Cosmetics brush. I'm not gonna do too much bronzer. This is kind of more of like a contoury bronzer shade, so I just wanna use it to create some 
kind of contours in my cheekbones and worm things up, I think. Yeah, some, something like that. What is this mark? Did I do that? Did I like wipe my sponge weird or something? And then I'm going to kind of warm up my forehead a little bit and a little bit on my jawline. And then sometimes I do this. I don't really know if it does anything, but I'll pick up some bronzer and in these two little like nose shadowy, dimply things, I just add a little bit more bronzer. I don't know. I feel like that looks good sometimes. I'm going to start out with the Tower 28 blush in Happy Hour just to get a nice pink base on my cheeks. I'm not going to use too much of this because it is quite pigmented. Maybe like that much. And then some on the other cheek. Okay, so that looks nice. We could stop there, but I'm going to do a little layer of this Oh shoot, I just got pink blush on my comforter. Um, I'm gonna do a layer of this ColourPop blush on top. I'm just gonna dip into this like very lightly. Now we have this nice pink blush on. I think this is what I was going for. It's like subtle, you know? Next up, using my Wet n Wild highlight in Blossom Glow on my cheekbones. And I'm kind of layering this onto the blush a little bit, just kind of swirling it around everywhere, honestly. And then some on my brow bone and my nose and my cupid's bow. So I'm now looking at this shade in Made You Blush and it's one of those ColourPop matte shades that has some shimmer, or not shimmer, but it just has little like glitter chunks in there, but it's not like a shimmery shadow if that makes sense. And I think that's not gonna be a huge deal but I did just notice that it's not like a true matte shade. But I think I'm gonna start with some of this um, Tower 28 lip to cheek blush on my eyes as a base. I don't know if that's a good or bad idea, but it is an idea that I had. So I'm just gonna go with it. And I'm just gonna use a little bit. I'm not gonna like pack this on. I just think it'd be good to have something on as a base. Almost as like a primer for the other matte eyeshadow to stick to. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Meiju Blush eyeshadow right here from the ColourPop Blush Crush Palette. And I'm just going to start packing that all on my lids. And hopefully I can get a nice clean line. I do want to blend it out just a little bit, you know, so it's not unblended. But it is, I want it to be like a nice matte clean look if that makes sense so i'm gonna pack this eyeshadow on now with my finger and a brush and i think i'm just gonna go back and forth until i get the look that i want now i'm just going to blend out the edges slightly to see what it will look like when my eyes are open and that's kind of where I'm following the crease. Okay, so off camera I'm going to put on mascara on my top and bottom lashes and then I'm going to do my eyebrows as well. I just feel like those steps are kind of boring and then we will be back to pick the lip product which I honestly have no idea what I'm going to choose so we got to test a few options out. So brows and lashes are on <laughs> and fluffy. I really tried to go for like that fluffy, soft look. I feel like it just fits the vibe of this makeup. I picked all red and dark colors, but I'm really feeling going monochromatic with this. We have the bright pink, the bright pink. What if I just did a pink lip too, you know? Let's start by popping on some of this blush again on my lips. This is like a lip to cheek palette, so that's why I'm using it everywhere. It's definitely like safe to go on your eyes and your lips and stuff. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this. So I'm going to use this lip liner from Revlon in the shade Rose, I think it's called. And I'm going to outline my lips. I think I was slightly inspired by the Pinterest picture because she just has a beautiful light pink lip on but hers definitely isn't monochromatic you see you see what i was going for also i definitely need a little bit more blush okay so i think for the lipstick i'm gonna do hmm this one might be a little too dark i know i talked about this in my video that was products i just don't reach for anymore but why do i feel like a nude pink lipstick would look really good with this 
I just feel like I need something a little bit lighter. So this is the Revlon lipstick in Untold Stories and I think this is going to be what I was looking for. And then just a tiny, tiny little dab of the blush again on top of the lipstick. I don't know, this is just what I'm feeling. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. That was the most random lip combo, but... And then I'm not going to get any more blush, but just whatever is left on my blush brush. I'm just gonna put some more of that on. And here is the finished makeup. Do you see my hands? Oh my gosh. To the one person I saw who commented like, it would be fun if you did something different, like don't do a pink look for Valentine's Day. I am so sorry because I did an all pink look, but you know, at the end of the day I am. Happy with how this turned out. I think it's very me, but it's like slightly out of my comfort zone. So now that the makeup is done, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the hair next. And I want to do just like a really pretty, nice blowout look. And I don't have the Dyson Airwrap <laughs> that I feel like everyone has. Is anyone else's TikTok like all Dyson Airwrap tutorials? I mean, I don't mind. I'm like mesmerized by them. I love watching them, but I'm gonna be using my good old Revlon like brush that I have been trying to kind of perfect a blowout with. And then I think I know what dress I wanna wear for this get ready with me, but you'll have to stay to the end to see what dress I pick. So let's go ahead and move on to the hair. Okay, so what the heck? Ew. <laughs> Got my trusty Revlon blow dry brush here and I'm gonna start by sectioning my hair into two parts, just like an upper and lower section. Also, I washed my hands two times and this eyeshadow is still in my hand, so I don't know. Now I'm just gonna spray some heat protectant in my hair and kind of brush through it a little bit. So the best way I can explain how I do this is I kind of try to just get it as straight as possible at first by going through my hair and then once I get to the ends, I kind of just try to add a little bit of a flip or a curl at the end of my hair just to give it that blown out look. So I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom layer. So now the bottom layer is done for the most part. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. This is a keratin um, weightless smoothing hair serum. Just on the bottoms of my hair to add some shine. Okay, so now to finish my hair, I'm going to do the top part. You know, this isn't the Dyson Air Wrap, but it still is gonna look good in the end, okay? And then the last step, I always see people do this with these type of brushes or just when they blow dry their hair in general. You kind of do any like curtain bangs or front little pieces you have and you blow dry them kind of backwards so they swoop and fall really beautifully. Okay, so my hair is looking much better. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil just got my hair nice and straight. There's a little flip at the end. I'm happy with it. Perfect little cute Valentine's Day look.
All right, you guys, so here is the finished look. This dress is from Breath of Youth Clothing, and if I could, I would buy absolutely everything on that website. It is just all my style. Like, every single thing on that shop I would purchase. Obviously, I'm not doing that. <laughs> this is a really pretty dress. It's like a floral, pink and purple floral dress. I feel like it's perfect for Valentine's Day because it has those pink tones without being like too out there pink or hearts or anything like that even though i would totally wear something like that too it has buttons kind of all the way down and then it just has a really pretty slit in the front and then these are the earrings i picked they are from nordstrom rack and i think because i'm wearing a slight statement earring and because of just the neckline and the way this dress is my hair would look better up which it's like did i just spend time doing my hair in the bathroom for no reason maybe but i just feel like it would look better maybe like pulled away from my face okay so i just did a low ponytail and i feel like that looks so much better but anyway my ring is from rellery it's like a really pretty heart ring perfect for valentine's day and then the shoes that i would wear with this outfit are these madewell little heel sandals they're just like a nude sandal i feel like that'll go really nicely with this look and then for a bag i would probably do my little tory birch crossbody bag i am absolutely in love with those little i think it, they're from kate spade the heart bags that i've seen all over tiktok i feel like that would look really cute with this look i'm on the hunt for like a blush pink like a really light blush pink bag so i feel like something like that would look good with this but this is kind of like the closest i have at the moment so yeah <laughs> this is the finished look and the finished get ready with me thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope it gave you some inspo if you are looking to dress up for valentine's day i will try to link everything in this video down below that i used so if you're interested in checking it out you can go ahead and check the description box below i hope you guys have a lovely valentine's day and a great rest of your week and i'll see you guys in the next one bye everyone